Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting video for you because I'm going to be showing you some really great fall activities that you can do with your children. I thought this would be a really great idea to kind of you know, captivate your children's attention and kind of also get into the fall spirits and kind of exploring the different seasons um, that we have. And I thought it would be a really great idea to do some kid activities and also some baby activities. So I'll be doing um, two activities for each. I kind of got a few ideas from um, Pinterest because I love Pinterest, I'm a Pinterest mom. So I kind of wanted to get a few ideas but kind of put my own spin on them as well. I hope you guys enjoy and try them with your children and let's get right into the video. So up first is our volcano pumpkins and these were really cool I'd have to say. So what you're going to need is one mini pumpkin and we're just going to cut off the tops of that and then we're going to be scraping out all the seeds and the membrane of our pumpkin. And they really liked getting all the seeds and all the gunky stuff outside of the pumpkin. I don't know what it is about little boys and getting dirty, but Nathan had a big smile on his face the whole time. I thought it was so cute. And next we're just going to be taking about two tablespoons of pure baking soda and we're going to be dropping that into our pumpkin first and then you're gonna be taking some dish soap whatever dish soap that you have and we're gonna be dropping a few squirts of that in and then you're gonna be taking some food coloring and I recommend putting a lot of food coloring just so the color payoff would be much more intense I didn't put that much so it didn't quite show up that well but it still worked nonetheless so you're gonna put some distilled vinegar and watch that bad boy explode Nathan really liked this project. He had a smile on his face the whole time. Next, we're gonna be making some fall scented Play-Doh. These were really awesome as well. And what you're gonna need is some salt, some uh, oil, some all-purpose flour, and assortments of paint, and also some cream of tartar. So first, we're gonna take about two cups of all-purpose flour, and we're gonna pour that into our bowls. And you're probably gonna need about uh, four bowls total, depending on what kind of spices you're gonna use. Um, so you're gonna take about one cup of salt and also add that into your flour mixture. And then we're gonna take about a tablespoon of cream of tartar and add that as well, and give that a nice big stir. And then um, the spices that I used in for our Play-Doh was some nutmeg, some pumpkin spice, cinnamon, and some ginger. And what I did was basically put the pumpkin spice into our bowl, about a tablespoon, and I added some um, orange paint to go with that. I also added some hot water and some oil, about two tablespoons of oil, and I want to say um, just a few tablespoons of hot water just to get the right consistency. And I stirred all that up and started to knead it until it became like a dough-like texture. And um, we're going to do the same thing three more times to our different Play-Dohs. And I first here have some ginger and I just added some yellow paint to that. I also have some cinnamon and I added some red paint to that and finally I have some nutmeg and I added the brown paint to that. And that became our Play-Doh and these smelled really good. Um, I have to say our favorite was probably the pumpkin. This one smelled really good and the, con and the texture of this particular one just seemed to work out the best. Although they all came out really quite well. Um, we have to say, I have to say that our orange one, the pumpkin, was the best. And Nathan really enjoyed playing with it. He loved using the cookie cutters to make some shapes, and they left his hands smelling really, really good. So next up are more baby-friendly projects, and what we're going to be making is our No Mess Pumpkin Sensory Bag. Now these are very easy, but also very um, interesting for your babies to explore and play. We're just going to be taking um, our pumpkin seeds that we used in our previous activity and put them in a Ziploc bag. And these are safe for babies to kind of explore and play and if they put it in their mouth they'll be fine as well. My daughter really liked playing with it and kind of exploring the feelings and the textures of it. Lastly, we're going to be making our edible fall flavored finger paints. Now this is going to get very messy but it's going to be really fun. So what we're going to do is take some plain yogurt and um, put that into three different bowls. And then we're gonna be adding some spices and this is completely optional. You don't have to do this, but I thought it was really great for an extra little kick for our paint. Um, what I added was some cinnamon with some red food coloring and I mixed that all together. 
And then next I took some nutmeg and I added that with some yellow food coloring. Then I did the same thing and took um, a mixture of yellow and red food coloring to make orange and I added that with some pumpkin spice. And after that I just laid them all out for my daughter and she really couldn't wait to just jump right into it. What I really liked about this project in particular was the fact that if she put it in her mouth it would have it's just safe for her and there's nothing toxic in it that could harm my baby. So she really liked the textures and the feels of it and as you can see she sure did get it in her mouth and um, I had nothing to really worry about in regards to that but I really liked this project and so did my daughter. So that's it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my last video of Nadia's 6 month update and I will see you in my next one. Bye!